guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be working on a kitchen that's in a rented apartment. This is the space that I'm going to be working on. And everything I'm going to do in this kitchen is going to be renter friendly. So I started by decluttering. I took out everything to give me an open and clear canvas to work on. A lot of people have said that it's almost impossible to change the look of a kitchen in a rented apartment, but I'm going to show you guys a smart and easy way to do this. I got boards from Home Depot that are laminated, and these boards are cheap, and I cut each and every one of the boards to size, and as I was cutting, I made sure that I wrote down the measurements to make it easy for me to install them. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using red contact paper to cover up some of the cabinets because red is the color that the resident is in love with. I got this red contact paper online and the link for it is going to be down in the description box below. If you're not into red, when you're about to check out, you can change it to whichever color you like. got handles that cost a dollar each from Home Depot and I'll be using them for the cabinets. I covered most of the boards for the cabinets with the contact paper except two and those two will be going above the stove. Now it's time to install the cabinets. I'll start with the white ones that would go above the stove and continue from there. Because I can't paint, I'll be using white duct tape in between this particular set of cabinets. Now I'm going to go ahead and add four sticky adhesive cutouts that I just made on four sides of the doors. Just one of the cutout tape that I have used can hold a lot of weight, but I'm using four so that the board can stay straight. I'm using my hand to press the board to the existing boards to make sure that it's firmly in place. But I'll recommend a rubber mallet. The remaining boards will be in red. Like I said earlier, I'm using white up here because everything down here is white. And I would like it to be white right down to the stove. These are the sticky adhesive tapes that I'm using and I'll be mounting the remaining red cabinets the same way I mounted the white one. Mounting the wooden boards to the existing doors was super easy. The only thing you have to be conscious about is making sure that the boards are aligned at the top and at the bottom. This is the red duct tape that I'll be using in between the cabinets. I prefer to take this route because since I cannot paint, I would have to cover up the wooden sides that are still showing even after the boards are closed. So with the red tape, it has solved that problem. I'm going to do this for all the openings. As I was doing this, I fell in love with red. Now look at the difference when the other door is besides it. Ugh. Now 
Now that's much better. For the countertops, I'll be covering it with marble contact paper. I know I've used this a lot of times, but it just kind of fits well for the kitchen. Oh, and did I mention that it is just $6? Yes, $6 is all I'll need to cover the countertops. wall or the backsplash, I'm going to use a contact paper that I also got from Walmart for $6. Now with this kind of contact paper, it's so easy to clean up things like oil and water from it. You just have to make sure that it's properly sealed to the wall with no openings. I'll be making knobs for the lower cabinets and I'll be using doll heads that I got from a craft store and all I'm going to do is spray paint it silver and drill a hole through the existing hole that's already there and then use screw to attach it to the board. I would also like to make a stove top cover and I'll be using the same wood covered with laminate for the base and separate wood that I got from Home Depot and these pieces of wood will be covered with a contact paper that I also use for the cabinets and I'll be attaching this wood that has been covered to the laminated board with wood glue and screws. For the handles, I'll be using this cute drawer pulls that I got for $6 from Home Depot. The rough sides will be covered with mirror mosaic tiles. After covering the stove with this, let's take a look at what the kitchen looks like now. Installed push lights under the cabinets. Now you can clearly see that you can amp up your style even in a rented apartment. Now let's see some before and after photos. I spent $80 on this kitchen transformation. And look at that, it looks amazing. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. And remember to like this video and also share it with your friends and families as well. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.